Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Vincent with Outdoor Outreach and welcome to Joshua Tree National Park. Did you know Joshua Tree National Park is the 15th largest national park? Behind Glacial National Park and the Grand Canyon, Joshua Tree covers 795,155 acres. That's just slightly smaller than the state of Rhode Island. For those of you who have not heard of Outdoor Outreach, we are a San Diego based youth development nonprofit that connects youth to the outdoors as a space for them to build resilience and confidence and their power to make a difference. In this three-part video series, you'll meet lots of new folks, including Outdoor Outreach field instructors and Joshua Tree staff members. We're gonna walk you through what an overnight outing looks like for our participants and give you the information needed to make sure your first trip to the park is a successful one. Joining us from Outdoor Outreach, we have Abby, Sunny, and the layers behind the lens. Throughout this video, we'll have Visitor Beta pop up on the screen to highlight tips and tricks on how to best be prepared. Let's go. There are three entrances to Joshua Tree National Park. This is the west entrance. The other two options are the north entrance in 29 Palms and south entrance in Cottonwood Springs. Before entering the park, we like to stop at the visitor center to gather information and learn about the things that makes this national park so special. Hi y'all, I'm Abby, Outdoor Outreach field instructor. We will use this time to have a restroom break and stretch our legs. Please be mindful that we are sharing this space with nearly 3 million other visitors every year, so we want to limit our impact as much as possible. At Outdoor Outreach, we practice the four R's to remind our participants and to ourselves too. One, respect yourself, so drink lots of water and wear sunscreen. Two, respect others. We like to practice put ups, not put downs. Three, respect the environment, so stay on the trails and do not feed the animals. And four, respect the gear, any gear that we hand you and other people's items. Inside the visitor center, you will find many exhibits on the wildlife and plants that live in this desert environment, the history of how these magnificent rock formations came to be, and helpful staff and volunteers to answer the questions and share their knowledge of the park. After we conclude our visitor center stop, we load back up and head towards the park entrance. It's five miles south on Quail Springs Road and takes about eight minutes to get there. Before heading further into the park, we make sure to fill up on water because there is no running water within the park. Come prepared with enough water for your stay in Joshua Tree. There's no access to water anywhere in the park. There are bathrooms with non-flush toilets, and it's a good idea to bring extra toilet paper. Always check the weather forecast before heading out. Joshua Tree weather can range from extremely hot to freezing temperatures quickly. There are nine campgrounds here at Joshua Tree, plus a number of options outside of the park. Reservations may be made online at Black Rock, Indian Co., and group sites. For other campgrounds, it is first come, first serve basis, which means whoever arrives at the site first gets the spot. Once you have selected your site, make sure you fill out a payment envelope, write in the dates you'll be camping on both the envelope and tag, as this is important when the park fills up during busy seasons. Place the tag onto your post and drop the envelope with your payment into the drop box at the campground entry. Once we decide on our camp home, Instructors scan the area for boundaries, flat spots to set up tents, and areas to unload gear. All right, this is gonna be our campground for the next couple of days. So I see some good 
10 areas that are flat ground here and here all right so over here this is going to be where our food and kitchen gear is going to be placed so this is going to be the kitchen area everything's going to go here and then we're going to place a trash bag right over here in the corner here by the table and then we're going to remind ourselves to be respectful of others so we're going to have some boundaries between this rock here and the little plant over here tree area to not pass over into the other visitors area to to remember to respect others All right, now that our campsite is set up, we can relax and enjoy our surroundings. Having a campfire is one of my favorite activities to enjoy. As with any activity, Always check with park rules and regulations to make sure fires are allowed and quiet hours start at 10 p.m. Then, when building your fire, always keep it in the designated area and burn only wood that has been bought locally. Important, bringing in wood from another area can lead to the introduction of non-natives insects and or diseases, some of which have been known to cause major destruction of local plants and harm local animals. So please, purchase the wood for your fire in the town you are camping. That will help out all, thanks. Depending on the moon phase, you may get a glowing environment where no flashlights are needed to navigate around. Or you may get a dark starry night where constellations in the Milky Way seem to jump out at you due to the lack of light pollution from the city. Before going to bed, store all food items securely in bins, cars, and coolers. Put out your fire, making sure all embers are doused with water. Walk around your site, scanning for items that may fly away should it become windy. I hope you all enjoyed our first day in Joshua Tree, and thank you for joining us in this adventure. Be sure to check out our next video, Activities to Enjoy in Joshua Tree. Now I'm going to enjoy this fire. Good night.